Of Pacific Beach Street. Stick with me today because we check out the traditional sounds of the Indian sitar. Bula Vanaka, I'm Kalia, and today I take on one of New Zealand's top female boxers. Keep checking out our website for prizes and info on the show. Malo Lele, I'm Michael. Coming up, I find out how the Ronald McDonald House helps families in need and then explore the universe from some astronomers. Kia rana, I'm Corinne. What do you do if you want to be a designer? Let's all jump on a bus and go for oh, now! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she's gone. Oh. I want to be a fireman, not a fashion designer. Fashion. Well, Karen Walker, Kate Sylvester, all New Zealand designers who walk the international catwalk. But what does it take to be a designer of their caliber? And where can you go to become one? Well, today is your lucky day because we're here at AUT School of Art and Design to give y'all the hookup and the info. Let's go. Angie, she's the program leader for the Bachelor of Design in Fashion here at AUT. What's up, Angie? Hi. What is a fashion designer? Fashion designer's main job is to think up a new idea and work out how that's going to be done so that it can be manufactured and other people get to wear it. Now, what kind of things can you learn here in the course at AUT? Learning how to cut a pattern, learning about fabric and what fabric does and how to sew, and an eye for quality, what makes a garment a high quality garment. And it is also about drawing, it is about computing skills. Angie, from your experience, what does it take to become a fashion designer in New Zealand? It takes a lot of sacrifice to get in there as a young designer and build your reputation and build your skills. Do you have someone we could talk to to find out a little bit more about the journey to become a designer? Sure, I think it'd be a great idea if you guys go and talk to Nadisha. What's up? Hi. You must be Nadisha. Yes, nice Thanks. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, can you tell us what are some of the main things that you've learnt through this course here at AUT? I think one of the biggest things I've learnt is not to compromise, really go for what you want and um, don't settle for anything less. Now, I see a wall here behind you. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, it's actually one of my um, inspirations at the beginning of the year, and it was all about um, cubism. And that's what I was inspired by for my collection this like year. Like Cuba? Like cubism. Like, like. It's like <laughs> a style of art. Just really love the idea of perception and illusion. And that's what I've tried to work in with my range. So once you have the conceptual idea of inspiration, what's the next step for you as a designer? Um, the next step would be to get it all down on paper. So start drawing, start uh, developing, even maybe go fabric shopping, look for fabrics that you could use for your concepts. And the fun part begins when you start um, actually making the stuff. Okay, Nadisha, what do we have to do now? You can help me get my dummies dressed. Oh, well, I dress three dummies at the PBS house every day, so <laughs> I'm your girl. <laughs> Let's yeah. do it. Five. <laughs> yeah. Nadisha, these dresses look amazing. You are so talented. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, thank you so much to Nadisha, Angie, and everyone here at the AUT School of Art and Design. I've learned that to become a designer, you need creativity, knowledge, and a whole lot of guts. And man, don't these three dummies look way better than the dummies that I've got back at home. <laughs> See you back at the house. You can do this! He's our neighbour. He's not gonna hurt you. Okay. This is too easy. Come with me to meet one of New Zealand's top women boxers. Oof! Oh. Khalil, what was that? He's just a kid! Khalil just got wasted by a kid! Sports. You've got boxing day, boxer shorts, boxing boys, but boxing girls, what are they? We're here at Auckland City Boxing to find out about women's boxing. <laughs> Everyone meet Alexa. 
Alexis Pritchard. She's the number one female featherweight boxer here in New Zealand. Alexis, how long have you been boxing? Um, about six years now. Six years. Why did you get into it? Um, I wanted to get fit. I've started out, you know, just at the local competitions, went on to national level and then internationally. Is women's boxing quite popular here in New Zealand? I might say it's a growing sport. I don't think that many women actually fight, but there's a lot of women actually do the training. What do you think makes you so good at boxing? Dedication, self-belief, discipline, and the basic skills. Sweet, well, can we learn some of that? Yes, sure. Yes. So what's first in your training? Conditioning. There's lots involved. You have to have your base fitness, so like you have to go for runs, and you have to do lots of bag work, lots of drills in the ring. Do you think your fitness level for boxing is right up there with a triathlete? It's a different kind of fitness. Triathletes, you know, they go for hours. I go for six minutes. Fighting is high intensity, fast, explosive kind of fitness. It's completely different. So that's fitness. What's next? Um, next, we're gonna learn how to throw a punch. All right, let's do it. So you're gonna step in and throw the punch. That's it. And bring your hand back to your chin. Why is that? Um, protect your face. <laughs> Good. Okay, try a, a left, right, one, two, so. Oh, combination. One, two. One, one two. two. One, two. Moving on to uppercuts. So those are the basic punches. Do you think I've got what it takes to be a boxer? Well, let's find out. Let's get in the ring. Okay. Right, Kalia, so we're in the ring now. We've got our headgear on for protection. We're supposed to have mouth guards in, but we're just going to do some foot drills and stuff. OK. So we'll put those in later. So you want to be just nice and smooth on your feet. And next, we've got some defensive moves. So just learning how to block a punch, really important. So I'm gonna throw a jab at you. Okay. I'm just gonna have stiff hands. It's gonna hit your glove, okay? Okay, so what now? So I've taught you basic punches, foot drills, and offense. I'm gonna think we're gonna get into some sparring. It's scary looking at you in the face and wondering when you're gonna get hit. Women's boxing, it's a place where you can build confidence, upskill yourself, and maybe even excel like a girl Alexis. If you want to find out more, check out the website. Oh, look up there. Yeah. It was a lucky shot. I've had some training now, and it's time for a rematch. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> Oops, sorry. Jeez, honey, it's only a game. Dad. Uh, coming up after the break, Ronald McDonald House, Seatar player, and astronomy. See you later. Good luck, Kalia. Dad.